Good morning, social fam. NLK3 here. Hope you're all having a fantastic morning. Off to the office, riding with Norm, and uh, basically wanted to do a topic about accepting what is. And um, this topic inspired me based off of uh, some series of events that are happening in my life that are challenging and new and different. And um, you know, and accepting what is sometimes is is challenging and is not easy especially depending on the circumstances into which when you tie in love into the equation and connection into the equation and having something that you've never had with someone before and then that basically turning into um, something amazing but at the same time you still have to accept what is and sometimes accepting that what is you know is something that's that's against what you only know and what you've only known your whole entire life. And so when you only know something one way your whole entire life, and then you you fall in love, you have this connection with someone, and then it's like, on the other end of the coin, you have to accept what is. And accepting what is sometimes isn't that easy because accepting for what is, it could be easy depending on the circumstances and it could be a little bit harder for other circumstances, especially when you're used to something being a certain way all of your life. And then next thing you know, it's like, let's turn it upside down. Um, let's do a 180 degree turnaround and, um, you know, let's see how well you can adapt or, 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 or uh, understand what it is that you need to um, basically, um, you know, adapt to or what you need to basically understand what is with that circumstance and so wanted to do this video because it was something that touched me maybe there's something that's going on in your life that um, that you can relate to um, it could be a relationship um, you know whether it's boyfriend girlfriend partner it could be um, a friendship it could be a partnership and uh, sometimes you know and hopefully uh, Majority of the times, you know, that circumstance of whatever that, that thing is, hopefully that comes out at the beginning and uh, that person's open and honest and truthful from the beginning and it's not something that you find out later because it's one thing to have a connection with someone and feel something for someone really strongly and then come to find out months down the line that, you know, they were hiding something or there was something more that you need to accept um, for what it is. And so, it's best off to have good communication, talk about everything from the beginning, and make sure that you're on the same page so when you proceed forth um, in that relationship and whatever facet that relationship is, it can be as healthy as possible. So thank you for your time and uh, just wanted to put this, this, this topic of accepting what is. And sometimes, you know, it just, it just, life happens and I think and I believe that, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. In, in my belief system and I did a video on the power of the belief system and how powerful that is and you can check out that video but um, but that's just what it is and so you know if you feel something for someone or you have a great connection with that person um, you know who wants to have the what if factor who wants to have that what if this what if that you know so the best thing you can possibly do in life is you know go with the flow and uh, understand everything happens for a reason and let things be as they will. So thank you for like, following, connecting. NLK3 short for Norman Lloyd Kinsey the third. You can check me out on, on YouTube, um, which you probably already are. You can look me up on my social media, links are below, or you can YouTube search me, NLK3 or Norman Lloyd Kinsey the third. Thank you all for your, uh, for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, until the next one.